Alright. Very good morning to ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Jeff Chopper. I'm running the radio sample. This is actually good. Working with air traffic control. Because it shows that we're really on an airplane having a conversation. Isn't it content? Yeah, it's actually more content. The airplane under the leadership of Jessica. We have Patricia. Roxanne and Alexander. The sounds of an air You're flying with Delta Airlines. You have the best in Southern hospitality. Being excellent care of you today, getting you to San Jose safely. This comfort. will be on our podcast. The airplane came in a few minutes late, so we'll be pushing back for the gate a few minutes late. But the good news is there's lots of extra time in the flight plan. I plan on being on time in San Jose. And if that changes, I'll, of course, update you in flight. Our flight plan says that we'll be climbing up and down because there's just uh, pockets of bouncy air high and low and so we're just that you can feel us going up and down there to There's a no way always looking for some see air. Uh, and uh, I don't anticipate the problem. Yeah. I'll keep you posted on, uh, on all that. No, my hips don't lie. Great news is the weather is good. They tell their whole story. Lots of rain, lots of snow, but it's going to be clear. Big 50s, I think, on our arrival into San Jose. I want to say thank you. Thank you very much for flying with Delta Airlines, spending your precious dollars with us. Wow. Any information changes out, of course, update you. Thank you. Hey, excuse me. Can I just have your attention for a minute? Blue books are part of our exit window exit seating. There's a card in your seat back pocket for review. Exit seating instructions in the back. And all I need is a verbal yes or no. You're qualified to sit here. We've had an emergency. And ladies and gentlemen, the Ford boarding door is now closed. Yes. 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 If you plan on using a mobile device during flight, now is the time to set it to airplane mode. Before the aircraft can push back from the gate, everyone must be seated with their seatbelt securely fastened, your tables and carry-on items properly stowed, and your aisle armrests lowered. Flight attendants, please prepare your doors for departure. Fast system. Also. So anyway, so we wanted to move into the next century with, you know, we we're like, okay, we want to talk about Facebook, and it took. You know this junior in college to explain to us that the areas that he's looking at the demographics we're looking at have already moved on past facebook wow the younger people the younger generation the millennials that's not where we're going to reach them where are they going snapchat um yeah. linkedin you know twitter oh, that well. kind of thing yeah to, to get our to get your message out to reach people to create brand awareness uh, that's, yeah i did so last some of the internship for um, family friend. He owns a ticket brokerage firm, and I, I ran their whole marketing thing, all social media, everything. So I basically, so I like, you can pay for it pretty much. So like Google AdWords. I don't know if you heard of that. Yep. You can, um, like all the Facebook stuff, Yelp, everything like that. And it's so you can on Google AdWords you can track like how many times people click on every single mm -hmm. thing, all mm -hmm. that stuff. And it's funny, the amount of people that look at things just from ads, like, you go on Facebook, and, like, something pops up, and you look at it, then it comes up, and, it, like, it not, have you noticed that it comes up more than mm -hmm. once, once you click on that mm -hmm. type of stuff? And it's crazy how many times. Well, like, he, many. Here's, here's what, you, I mean, it's perfect, because what you're talking about is called remarketing. What remarketing is, the minute you click on an ad, now I know... Who you are, I know how to reach you. I can come back to your device when you go home and you connect to your Wi-Fi. I'm now on your your daughter's computer. I'm everywhere, right? And it's I mean it's a good thing, um, but then you you talk about how to reach people nowadays. Now it has changed because I started out in my media career started out in radio, radio and television, and all those things have changed so much now. Because now it's time and attention. It's time and attention. If you look around this flight right now, everyone is playing on a mobile device or doing something on a mobile device. Except for me. But you know, that's because we're having a good conversation. But it's time and attention is what it is. And it's time and attention. And when people are spending money to advertise, you're spending money to grab attention. If it's 15 seconds, 30 yeah. seconds, or 60 seconds, whatever it is. So people migrate from one medium to the other. It's like high school. And that's why I was telling you, you were saying you were going to graduate with marketing, go to school for marketing, but by the time you graduate, your books are already outdated yeah. because the technology has changed so fast. It's, it's changed. So it's like you have to be 
a practitioner of marketing. You can't be just, oh, I'm a marketing graduate or I think everything is going to come to you. Because you have, in, in this line of business, you have to go to And once it. again, good morning, ladies you have to and gentlemen. Go to Welcome it. aboard Delta Flight 2055 like, with service to San Jose. My you name know? is Jessica, and I'll be your flight you leader on today's flight. How to reach uh, this is by three other go? wonderful yeah. Minneapolis-based yeah. flight attendants in the main cabin. Feel free to ask us any questions during flight. Mm-hmm. So, momentarily, we will be showing you a short safety demonstration, hopefully on the screen in front of you, so you can share your attention. So, at that time, it would be greatly appreciated once again. Good morning. Welcome aboard, and thank you so much for they do. So, DJ Khaled is the most watched. It's huge. So more people watch his Snapchat daily than the most watched TV show, which is the Big Bang Theory. Yep. by Like three times the amount. Man, you you made a great you made a great uh, comparison. Here, here's the thing: it's people want to be they want content. They want content. I was watching Apple TV one day, and you know it wouldn't load. You guys ever have an Apple TV? Yeah. You got an Apple TV? I do. And so like one day it was like. Your content can't load. Your content can't load. And I was like, you know, that's what it is. It's all about content, right? People, they know where they want to take their attention now. It's, it used to be like you watch television. You talked about the Big Bang Theory. Well, uh, years back, you had to wait until Monday night or Thursday night to watch the Big Bang Theory because that was prime time. That's when the network wanted you to watch television. Now you can watch television whenever you want. Exactly. And then folks like, you think of like AT&T. This is how big data has gotten. When they bought DirecTV, they know people are cutting the cord. So they're like, I'll give you free data just to watch my TV, just to watch DirecTV if you get both of them. So they know that people have cut the cord. They've moved away from it. And so what they're trying to do is move closer to the user. HBO, so smart. All the years you had HBO, you would pay your cable company for HBO service as a subscription. HBO is like, you know what, dude, screw you. Everybody's cutting the cord. I'm going straight to the user. So now you can have HBO just with internet. You know, and it's uh, it's amazing where people's time and attention have gone. It's amazing. I was at um, I was at a symposium at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill, and the main speaker was the CEO of ESPN. And he was actually talking about these types of challenges. And he was talking about how the challenges with the magazine, you know, the challenges with the printed word. You can't track it. Exactly. And he was was talking about, you know, also the challenges of, you know, when you watch the football games on your TV and you advertise on the TV, you're looking at this giant thing, but now people are watching on their on their little devices. And how can they make it you know, how can they still make it appealing and, you know, make it so that people can see what they want to see and how can you manage the ads because some of the ads, you know, make you watch for two minutes. And guess what? If it makes me watch for two minutes, I'm done. I clicked off and I moved on to wow. something else. You know what? There was a time when two minutes seemed mm-hmm. like it was nothing. Right. Now two minutes, it's nothing. How many times you watch a video... And you tap the screen just to see how much longer you have. Right. You know, because it's like, you're done. Even one minute in the microwave is too long now, you know? One minute in the microwave is too long. We've grown impatient. When we grow impatient, what entertains us is different. So if it's not anything that's creative, that hooks us in, we don't want to give it our time and our attention. You know what I mean? So it has to have your time and attention from the very beginning. If it doesn't, it's screwed. So that person, that ESPN person, or that Big Bang Theory like you're talking about, I don't care for your commercials. And it's crazy because I'm in the commercial business. I do it for a living. But if you don't put creative up front enough to make you want to look at it, you're screwed. Extra gum did a television campaign, 30 second ad, it was a good ad, sales declined. They were like, what's going on? We did great with this, you know, I mean, it was a beautiful ad. They released it on social media to tell the whole story, sales went up. Because people could really see exactly what the creative was about. The creative is a variable, it's what makes the difference, you know? It's what makes you pay attention to things. There's just so much out there now. Oh, gosh. It is, it is 
it's so like, like all of a sudden, some, it's not like really quick enough, it's not interesting enough, it's boring. Oh uh, yeah, it's like high school, everything's gonna be four years and it's done. Because there's just so many options that it's like so, much stuff. It's so accessible. And, and it's, you think about it, it's, it's all these different things, all these different platforms of Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You should look at these things the same way you do CBS, NBC, ABC, and Fox. The same way. 